हेलो एवरी वन दिस रितेश फ्रॉम टाइम थिंग विद डेटा क्योंकि डेटा ही जाता है सो वट आई फॉर यू टूडे टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्वार्टर वर्सेज लास्ट क्वार्टर दैट मीन्स ऑन राइट एंड साइड यू कैन सी एट द टॉप यू हैव द ऑप्शन टू चूज एनी क्वार्टर एंड यू शुड बी एबल टू सी दी सेल्स फॉर द लास्ट क्वार्टर एंड दिस क्वार्टर द क्वार्टर दैट यू हैव चोजन इफ यू आर एट क्यू वन रिमेंबर दैट द लास्ट क्वार्टर वुड बी क्यू फोर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन क्यू वन टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन so first of all we need to have that parameter right and that very particular format right we want to choose it like that this y y y y and q q so that that's the format that you should have so we'll have to create that format you may have some custom options over there but we'll just try to recreate that from the scratch so what we'll do is we'll go to the sheet and as i said that we want to have that sort of calculated field over there right So let us try to create the same. So what we want actually, right? If you see, we want y y y y. So what we want, we want date part as year over there. So quickly we can do that. Date part, date part as year in this case. And that should be inside the bracket. So this we got the year. So we have got y y y y plus in between if you see you have q so that is of type string and since that is of type string you will see some error over there and we'll try to rectify that error as we go as we move forward so first of all let us try to create try to complete the formula at the end you should have the quarter number over there that means q1 q2 q3 so here i want to have quarter instead right and at the end since this part right this one this one is date this one is date this was this is a string in between so we will have to match the data type over there so in order to match the data type we'll have to just make that as string so we'll do that and convert that to string by putting str over there fair enough and str there as well so our date is ready for parameter so we can say uh, the format is y y y y q q and this is date for parameter actually so we can have this we can write this as date p now let us create a parameter on the top of that at the new sheet itself so i say as create parameter and boom you got the parameter so i have the parameter with me and i would like to show this parameter by show parameter now what i want i want sales over there so sales at rows and uh, i must have quarter continuous quarter in the form of date trunk so that i can have all the quarters over there that's it now the story begins and let let me convert this to bar right fair enough and maybe make that discrete instead and that gives a better look now it's dead right until and unless i create a calculation and try to bring that parameter in my calculation and relate with this very particular sheet so let us do that how we can do that right we'll have to write a formula on the top of that so i right click on that and what should be the formula now concentrate over here this parameter either this should be equal to the present ordered quarter right so we'll have to repeat that uh, exercise that we were doing over there we'll have to repeat so instead of repeating that i can just uh, copy it from there right repeat in the sense i should have this one what i mean to say is either this should be equal to the order date parameter like this one right this one and i say this as conditions for quarter versus last quarter so first of all again that means we need to have two bars in the output let us first see first bar is okay or not here this plane quarter should be equal to the 
same format right of order date right here we have the parameter we will choose a particular yyyyqq and it will try to equate that with respect to this formula where you same you have the same thing so let us see let us drag this to color and see if we are good so we are good like if we have chosen this very, very particular quarter and that is highlighted that's what we wanted but we need one more quarter and that is the previous previous quarter now how to get that we'll go back again and try to make changes at the condition now what are the conditions over there so this condition will give us the present quarter the quarter that we have selected with the alpha parameter but we want the previous quarter as well so we need an or condition as well so this is not the only condition we need one more condition over there now what would be the other condition just let us try to think about that so the other condition would be so what we want we want this quarter as well so if you see if i try to relate with the parameter quarter so if i do if i do plus one quarter to this quarter right this one i'm talking about this quarter if i do plus one to this quarter then we will get the next quarter right so if in my formula i try to do plus one to this one to this order date right and to this one plus one to this and plus one to this so that will be equal to my parameter parameter quarter that we have chosen so let us do undo 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 and let us go back so that means i need to do date add to this so date add is another date function so if you want to see date add, i'm talking about this function that will add one quarter to the order date over there so let us try to do that so that remains a date right date add will remain a date because we are just adding a quarter or a year or a or days to that very particular order date so let let me do date add over there this one so what i want to uh, add over there i want to add one quarter so i have quarter and after that what i want to do i want and after that we have to put interval over there interval would be one and after that date order date you get the syntax in parallel right that's what and again here the same thing date add what i want to add i want to add quarter here we go and i say apply that's it q2 251015q2 2015q1 q1 2015q1 2014q1 so we are there so we have achieved so if i just put that to the filter so i'll just put the condition over there to the filter and i say true and after that boom you get the last two quarters here you go so this is the way you get it right simple enough right so we'll do more stuff with respect to dates uh, this was quarter to quarter we'll have year to year month to month we'll talk more about it i hope this uh, new series is useful for you so this ritesh signing off from dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata hai